factoring general trinomial where a is greater than 1. To determine if a given expression is a general trinomial where a is greater than 1, um, the following conditions must be satisfied. First, there must it is a trinomial, a polynomial with three terms in one variable of second degree. Example is um, 2 t squared plus 11 t plus 5. It is a trinomial. 1, 2, 3. Three terms. Another example is 2y squared minus 7y plus 3. Trinomial. 1, 2, 3. Three terms. The second condition, the numerical coefficient of the leading term is greater than 1. Your leading term for this um, polynomial is 2. This is now your leading. Leading your A is 2, greater than 1. Another example, it's also 2. Your A is greater than 1. Because our standard form is AX squared plus BX plus C. Our A is greater than 1. So, therefore, factoring general trinomial where A is greater than 1. And the third, third condition is the sum of the factors of the product of the numerical coefficient of the first and the last term is equal to the numerical coefficient of the middle term. To deeply understand the third condition, we will be doing the factoring. Parts of a general trinomial from the example 2t squared is our first first term or the leading term while plus 11t is the middle term and our plus plus 5 is the last term factor 2t squared plus 11t plus 5 there are six steps the step one step one is find the product of the leading term and the last term so 2t squared is our first term and our last term is plus 5 so multiply 2 t squared times plus 5 will give you or 2 t squared times positive 5 the answer is the product is 10 t squared step 1 multiply the first and the second the last term 10 t squared next step 2 step 2 find the factors of the product of the first and the last term whose sum is equal to the middle term so therefore um, make a table factors of 10 t squared then the sum First is factor 10t squared. First is um, 2t times 5t. 2t times 5t still will give you 10t squared. If we add, then therefore it will become 2 plus 5, 7. 7, then copy t. 70. So it should be equal to the 110. So this is not 70. Next, if both are positive, then make this negative. Negative 2 times negative 5t. So we'll give you 
positive. Negative 2 times negative 5 will give you positive 10. T squared. If we add, same sign, add. 2 plus 5, 7. Copy the sign, negative T. Still not. Next, how about if T or represents as 1 times T, 10 T. T times 10 T will give you 10 because imaginary number 1 times 10, 10. T times T is squared. Add. So imaginary number 1, though therefore 1 plus 10, it's 11 T. Copy the sign, it's positive. So, we got 11 T. 11 T. So therefore, this is the factor of 10 T squared. Step 3. Step 3, rewrite the trinomial as a four-term expression by replacing the middle term with the sum of the factors. So based from our step 2, our um, 11 T is equal to um, T plus 10 T. Replace this, so therefore, um, 2 T squared plus 11 T plus 5, if we replace 11 T, we give 2 T squared plus t plus 10 t plus 5 so that's for step 3 step 4 group the first two terms and the last two terms together so it's that step 4 is to group the first two terms and the last terms so copy from step 3 2t squared plus t plus 10t plus 5. Group for first two terms. First, 2, 1, 2. 2t squared plus t. Group. Then the last two terms together. 10t uh, plus 10t plus 5. That's for step 4. For step 5 is to factor the groups using greatest common monomial factor. So from the previous video, um, there is a lesson about greatest common monomial factor of Mathematics 8, Water 1, um, Week 1. So simply copy the given from our step 4, it's 2t squared plus t plus 10t plus 5. So first, the greatest common monomial factor is determined for the GCF first for these terms, for this binomial first. So the GCF for 2 and imaginary 1 here, for your t, it's 1, simply 1. Then, um, the common variable with, at, with the least exponent in each term, so the common is t. And what, which is the least? Here? So it's t1 t raised power of 1, so t. So 1 times t will simply give you t. Open close parenthesis. Divide. t um, divided by 2t squared will give you 2t. Because sub in division, exponent should be subtracted. So your t here has an imaginary exponent of 1. So 2 minus 1 will give you t raised power of 1. Plus t divided by t cancel will give you simply 1 because there is no more t cancelled already so that is for the first um, binomial plus for the next find the GCF of 10 and 5 your GCF of 10 and 5 is 5 greatest common factor then what is the common common variable so there is no common variable because 10 t 5 um, has no variable has no variable so therefore only 5 divide 10 t divided by 5 will give you 2 t 10 divided by 5 2 t. and then copy the term uh, the variable t plus 
5 divided by 5, 5 divided by 5, they give you 1. So therefore, as you can observe, um, from the first, 2t plus 1, 2t plus 1, they are common. So, this time, step 6. Step 6 is factor out the common binomial factor and write the remaining factor as a sum or difference of the common monomial factors. So simply, from your step 5, um, combine the um, common binomial. So the common here is 2t plus 1, 2t plus 1 combined. 2t plus 1. Then, um, write the remaining factor as a sum. So the remaining will be 5 and t. So therefore, combine t plus 5 plus 5. Combine. So therefore, this is your factors 4. Factors 4, 2t squared plus 11t plus 5.